Hi students, I'm Sonia from Vidya Guru, starting a new session on current affairs. This session is for the month of February, February 2022 I'm referring to. This session is going to be completely in English medium as you guys can actually see that I'm conversing in English with you. If you are not comfortable with the language, you can switch to the Hindi session that is also recorded, that is also there in the playlist. This session is recorded completely in English medium for our students from South India, for our students from Northeast India. That means the students of Kerala, the students from Tamil Nadu, the students from Andhra or uh, uh, Karnataka, those students who are not able to understand Hindi, we record a separate session for them in English medium. Okay, but before starting, I generally say that. The session is super, super significant and believe me, after watching the session, you yourself will be saying that, that this session was actually significant. All the points I've collected, all the points I've brought in here, you know, from, from, you know, February and, you know, if there's anything, you know, left out in January's video. I'll be actually starting the session, but before starting, I really wish to request, I've put in a lot of effort to get these many points for you. I expect a like from you. Please do press the like button, share the video with your friends and do subscribe to Vidya Guru's YouTube channel if you have not till now. Please press the bell icon which is there beside the subscribe button. If you press that bell icon, then only you will be receiving the notifications of all the exam relevant videos which we upload. From here on, I will be starting the session and please, all the questions are significant. I expect before I wrap up the video, you yourself will be thinking in a way that whatever I've taught, you could learn that, you could retain that. You can see the title. It is written Indian Economy. Just by reading, just mere by reading the title, you can say that the session is significant. Indian Economy is the title. This particular point which is there, these points which are there on the screen, they are significant. You can read them now. India's forex reserves as on 31st December 2021, $633.6 billion. Read that carefully. It is $633.6 billion. Now, why such a question can be asked in your exam and why I have actually given that much importance that this should be your first question for the day. The reason is forex crisis was going on in Sri Lanka where India helped Sri Lanka by you know giving them by providing them the help of you know dollar 900 million obviously India helped Sri Lanka to come out of that crisis as you know any country whosoever has such a crisis obviously they need to you know work a lot you know to get out of it now you need to understand we cannot uh, you know suffer from such a crisis because India is in such a pretty good state that we are fourth largest. Three largest are there in front of you if you have you know curiosity to know more about those nations which stood you know prior to us. Forex reserve of India a simple question forex reserve of India is 633.6 billion dollars and it is fourth largest in the world. First had to be China without any doubt. Second is Japan, third is Switzerland. So these three nations are even significant. Please learn them in the same order as I've written them and fourth one is India because our forex reserve is that huge. When you move to the second point, you can actually see to promote India's digital ecosystem. Can you skip this news? You can even make out that you cannot because it is such a big thing which, which actually you know took place. To promote India's digital ecosystem, as you know we are making everything digital, that is our digital ecosystem, Google is, Google is also planning to promote that. See, because it is a digital thing, Google itself is, you know, digital. Where else is it available? It is majorly available in dig digital ecosystem only. So Google is actually aiding some Indian company like Airtel. They are investing $1 billion, $1 billion. It is huge. Google, just the name, Google is investing in Airtel, the amount is dollar one billion and obviously to promote digital ecosystem in India. News important, please learn that can be asked in your exam. Let's proceed. <clears throat> now, 
you can see appointments and elections when i actually teach you appointments and elections such sort of category is there you need to understand that ranks important ranks which were actually given to they were you know people who got appointed to you know such huge ranks uh, one of them is there in front of you the name of the fellow is Ravi Mittal I teach you all these things which are important in appointments and elections I really believe whatever I have taught in the previous slide you could understand that until now you have pressed the like button Ravi Mittal has actually become the new chairman chairman of what chairman of IBBI it is insolvency the first i is insolvency b is bankrupt c the other b is board and next i is india so insolvency bankruptcy board of india's new chairman ravi mittal now when i actually bring in pictures you need to understand you will be able to relate them if you see them in conversation if you see them in news often you are able to learn their you know faces you are able to retain them well so ravi mittal has actually become the new chairman of ibbi try to relate him with this picture now italy's president he got the president of italy he became the president of italy once again his name is sergio sergio mattarella <clears throat> that's the name of the fellow he has become the president of italy again see the country is not that insignificant please understand that if something is happening in italy and that too at such a higher scale you need to learn that so italy's re-elected president is sergio mattarella when i move ahead you can see you can even see the picture and you have seen him many times he's akshay kumar everybody knows about him this fellow has actually become the new ambassador of uttarakhand i'll repeat that new uttarakhand brand ambassador akshay kumar if you are actually looking at the screen right away you can understand that if one page is there people generally say that 21 to 25 you know pages are there which i deliver now you need to understand if 21 22 or 25 you know pages are there each page is going to have two to three questions on it minimum two or you know generally three are there you just have to multiply them that means by watching one video you can at least you can at least learn 60 new points and if you are learning 60 new points from one video you will not face any need of going through any magazine or anything which is you know not worthy of your time please spend some time with me watch the video till the end that's how you're able to learn a lot many points whatever happened in february just by you know looking at the video when i proceed further after you know appointments and elections i want to tell you this something else to it new controller general of accounts as we are studying the same heading so under that heading only a few more appointments are there when somebody tells you controller Uh, general of accounts then the person the, the fellow becomes important so the name of the lady is sunali singh you can see the picture here what has she become controller general of accounts controller general of accounts sunali singh when you look at the second picture antonio costa <clears throat> antonio costa he has become the prime minister of portugal again so what is significant out here the significant thing here is that he is from socialist party at times they may give you a question in which they have mentioned the name of the person as well and the name of the country as well if they ask you antonio costa has become the prime minister of portugal again name his party what will you do you may consider something which is written in brackets you know insignificant or it is not that you know important but i'm telling you such questions are asked you are aware of the name of the person you are aware of the name of the country but you were not aware of the name of his party so i'm highlighting it antonio costa from socialist party has become the prime minister of portugal again when i proceed the third point states new ugc chairman 
when something is important i highlight that when something is less important i highlight that too because i was not teaching such a thing earlier now i have added such questions in my videos too because nowadays they ask questions on ugc's chairman too so new ugc chairman is m jagdish kumar m jagdish kumar <coughs> has become ugc's new chairman i i repeat that all the questions all the questions you have to learn them repetition again is purposeful i can just read them like news and i can you know keep on going but i want to tell you that i repeat that deliberately as i know i am a teacher my job is to make you learn whatever i'm teaching so please be with me read what is written on the board now 73rd republic day tableau awards tableau in hindi is jhaki jhaki where you are showcasing something that means you need to know such sort of tableaus are there on republic day parade i called it 73rd republic day parade i called it 73rd republic day tableau awards now you need to understand that if tableaus are there ministries have their own tableaus states and union territories there's one category they have they present they showcase their own tableaus when you talk about armed forces they also have their own tableaus so to motivate each one of them some sort of award should be given to them so that the next time they can come up with something more innovative and better now i'll start with the categories best state union territory tableau was given to up and it was pretty evident it had to be given to up only so best state union tableau up now you need to learn one more thing when a tableau is presented in the republic day parade they come with a theme too such themes become difficult to learn but they are asked the theme for up is tableau was one district one product and kashi vishwanath dham one district one product and kashi vishwanath dham that was the theme of up and i hope you have already learnt it when you proceed the second number is tableau the best tableau was of karnataka the third one was of meghalaya total 12 <coughs> tableaus from the category of states and ut's participated in it obviously further will be talking about you know popular ones popular choice too but i have told you the best tableau in states and union territories category up with the theme one district one product and kashi vishwanath dham second karnataka up karnataka meghalaya and i said total states and ut tableaus which participated in that parade 12 when i proceed i'll talk about maharashtra tableau now <clears throat> best states state and union territory tableau now read that category popular choice award so popular choice award among all the participating states maharashtra what was maharashtra's tableau award uh, about their tableau was about biodiversity and state bio symbols of maharashtra that is actually the theme of their tableau it was about you know it was about biodiversity they have shown that and that is why i have actually fixed this picture here just to tell you that their tableau got popular choice you know sort of award their theme was about biodiversity only biodiversity state bio symbols of maharashtra they are promoting biodiversity only and this theme you know reemphasizes that best tableau ministries i talked about it at the start i told you clearly that ministries do send their tableaus too now when you look at it out of all you know the ministries participating there are two ministries collectively together they they became the joint recipient when i actually speak like that best tableau ministries ministry of education first and the second one was ministry of civil aviation they both got best tableau ministries in the category of ministries they got the award so ministry of education and ministry of civil aviation now you must be wondering what i've written in brackets they are the themes and i told you at the start 
if a tableau is selected if tableau becomes the recipient of some award then that tableau's theme becomes equally important for you so when you talk about ministry of education their theme was national education policy write it down if you are preparing notes that's great if you are not then you'll forget everything please i'm requesting you when you talk about the second one it is ministry of civil aviation ude desh ka aam nagrik if you can recall that is udan ministry of civil aviations ministry of civil aviations theme was ude desh ka aam nagrik and that is udan if you can actually you know contract it you can you know see this shorter version of it so ministry of education and ministry of civil aviation joint recipient of ministry's best tableau award okay when i proceed <clears throat> best marching contingent among capf when i actually write something of that sort students at times find it difficult to relate i want to tell you that parade 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 you know takes place on 26 january we all know that on republic day armed forces do participate they do parade now to motivate them see be it navy be it army so i'm saying they have to you know remain motivated so when you talk about their parade their marching contingent of you know the entire capf out of all CISF you know got the award of best marching contingent among CAPF best marching contingent among services navy you know became the one and best marching contingent popular choice like popular choice in union territories and states you know was given to maharashtra here popular choice in you know the forces to air force learn that carefully such questions are important they are significant and you have to learn them carefully as we are starting the current affairs of february so we have to you know lay more focus on days as well so the, some of the important days are there behind me when i start it i'll start with world cancer day world cancer day is observed on 4th of february read that read the words carefully world cancer day i found the theme important closing the care gap so closing the care gap was the theme for world cancer day which is observed on 4th february when we come a little down with the second point which is about 2nd february what is it it is world wetlands day but i want to highlight something here on this page that this question is far more important than world cancer day world wetlands day is asked more in the exams so world wetlands day is observed on 2nd february whatever is related with it you have to learn it when i talk about a day the theme of it becomes important that is wetlands action for people and nature wetlands action for people and nature please learn that carefully 2nd february wetlands day the theme is equally important now okay banking and finance news i have given the title and those students who are actually writing only scc or any other exam not of banks this question is not going to be for you that is my job i have to tell you but the students who are writing banking exams for them the entire session is significant i am saying when i start with banking and finance news can you skip such a question you can you know just look at it rbi rbi declares financial week RBI celebrates financial literacy week so such a thing is so super significant if you are watching till now i am really feeling that you are a person who wants to gain gain knowledge i am trying my level best to make you understand if you have not pressed the like button please do that please do that financial literacy week 2022 is observed from 14th to 18th february they have observed it that means this year they did that now there will be a lot many students will be writing and saying that they are not 7 days so how are they calling them how are they calling it a week now you need to understand the week for them is not of 7 days just the collection of a few days and they start calling them a week because they cannot call call it you know a financial day 
they cannot call it like that so financial literacy week collection of days from 14th to 18th february they celebrated it you know into it 2022 only the theme which they have kept is go digital go secure that's what rbi is trying to do making the economy go digital that is why they are actually making such sort of themes which can relate with their ideology go digital go secure go digital go secure 14 to 18 february 2022 they celebrated it as financial literacy week when i proceed further with the second point which is there in multiple parts it is basically the bi monthly monetary policy review of rbi when i start obviously i have to start with you know repo rate so repo rate is 4% repo rate is 4% reverse repo is 3.35% bank rate and marginal standing facility rate is this 4.25% and the stance policy stance was kept accommodative i'll repeat that repo rate 4 reverse repo 3.35 marginal standing facility in bank rate 4.25% and the stance of policy remained accommodative now when i move ahead <coughs> banking and finance news again pnb co branded contactless credit cards launched with patanjali now uh, you will start thinking about it how could patanjali be you know a financial organization or something like that please patanjali is a big organization we all know that just to promote themselves they can be present on your cards and this happens this is pretty usual they do that if you travel by delhi metro or any metro for a very long time we saw paytm on delhi metros you know card smart cards through which you can travel you know uh, to you can travel by delhi metro so such sort of thing should be there in your mind that one side it is written paytm one side it is written delhi metro when you look at the things here that pnb is there and patanjali is also there and azadi ka amrit mahotsav is also written on it so i'm saying look at the picture try to relate it that pnb co branded co branded with patanjali and they have launched a contactless card so contactless credit card okay let's proceed further icici lombard <clears throat> icici lombard to offer cyber insurance and they are not doing it alone they have you know actually um, joined the hands with etel payments bank so etel payments bank icici lombard collectively doing something cyber insurance they are you know starting they are coming up with something new so icici lombard cyber insurance with etel payments bank now this is australian open on your screen that means the title has become sports news now so after banking after you know finance news this is you know sports news there on the board when i proceed obviously i have to talk a lot about cricket but as usual as i have to do it so in sports news but i'll start with australian open now when you look at these two uh, people i'll actually name them one by one but before starting in australian open on open i have to start with men singles we generally do that because it is considered the uh, most important you know uh, title here so in australian open i'll start with men's men singles which was lifted the title was lifted by rafael nadal so rafael nadal he is from spain and he defeated daniel medvedev he is from russia at times the names of the runner ups that also becomes important so obviously the name of the winner is significant the names of the runner up is equally equally significant see it is all about seeing these questions in your exam if the name of the winner comes in if the name of the runner up comes in comes in we have to just secure our mark that is the only thing we aim at i am teaching you both the names along with their nationality see when you talk about singles the nationality of the winners or the runner up that is important that is why i have written that in the brackets this fellow daniel medvedev he is also a popular player so learn his nationality because some days later you will see him as the winner so daniel medvedev is from russia rafael nadal is from spain so rafael nadal is the winner and he defeated daniel medvedev when i proceed to women singles ashley barty 
has actually become the winner. She lifted the title. She is from Australia. Ashley Barty is from Australia. She lifted the title of women singles in Australian Open. She defeated Daniel Collins. So Daniel Collins is the name of the other girl. She is from USA. She remained the runner-up. Okay, now Daniel. Although the spellings are different. one daniel was defeated by one you know male and men's you know singles and one daniel was defeated by women by a woman that means ashley bati in women singles so it is pretty easy to learn daniel medvedev and daniel collins learn it like that daniel collins is from usa when i proceed i'll start talking about men's doubles now so men's doubles now the name is a little difficult the name is a little different also but you have to learn it men's doubles that means two males you know lifted the title now uh, thanasi kokinakis and nick kirgios nick kirgios and thanasi nick kirgios and thanasi lifted the title of men's doubles now women's doubles their names are pretty known to us you have heard these names these two names of these two women multiple times from me only the name of the first one is Barbora Krejcikova and the other one is Katrina Sinekova. So Barbora Krejcikova and Katrina Sinekova. Barbora Barbora Krejcikova and Katrina Sinekova. These remain the women's doubles titles actually holder. They received that. So I'm saying mixed doubles. Now one male and one female collectively will be lifting the title because it is mixed doubles. So mixed doubles Ivan Dodik male. Kristina Ladinovic, female. So Kristina and Ivan. These are the people who lifted the title of mixed doubles. Mixed doubles. Now learn all these names. They are important. Australian Open, you know, took place recently. You know that such questions become important for you. When I proceed further, World Games Athlete of the Year Award. The title is still the same. Sports News. So I can include any sort of sport, any sort of news which took place in the past, and that athlete can be from any background. Now I'm saying World Games Athlete of the Year Award 2021. P.R. Srijesh has become the person has become has become the athlete who got this title. <clears throat> Year is 2021. the award was given for world games athlete of the year that's the award which was given to pr srijesh now somebody asks you who is he so he is a goalkeeper you can see that there in the picture also he is a goalkeeper pr srijesh but if if the question if the language of it is changed how will you deal with it how will you deal with it the question can be there in your exam where they may ask you world games athlete of the year World Games Athlete of the Year award. When they ask you a male from India, when they ask male, a male, you know who received that? So he has actually become the first male recipient of this award. But when they ask you first Indian, first Indian is Rani Rampal, and he is practically the second Indian who received that. But the language can be a little different. She is first Indian. first female recipient of this award but first male recipient is pr srijesh but he is the second indian now i think you won't get confused if you have please read it what is written on the board so pr srijesh second indian first indian is rani rampal but she was a female so he can be called first male recipient of world games athlete of the year award now china beat south korea to win afc women's asia cup football at navi mumbai now by reading this you first have to look at this picture which is there on the screen india was the host for afc women's asian cup afc women's asian cup it was actually it was actually uh, the host india became the host for it now when i wish to tell you that you know china beat south korea india is nowhere i am just telling you that but although we all we we participate all the nations you know do participate they may ask you a question like china defeated south korea indirectly i told you that china remained the winner and south korea was the runner up but they may ask you where the final was played it was navi mumbai 
because it was all about india we need to learn all the uh, precise locations also navi mumbai was the place where see it was played at multiple places but navi mumbai where the final was played where china defeated south korea so that is why it is important so afc women's asian cup hosted by india now we'll proceed <clears throat> Okay, under nineteen cricket World Cup of fourteenth, fourteenth number. It actually took place. Now, when I uh, talk about the place where it took place, that was West Indies. I'll start with it one by one now. First, we are not talking about cricket World Cup, the main one. I am talking about the cricket World Cup under nineteen one. The number of it was fourteenth. The number of it was fourteenth, and host nation was West Indies. host country was west indies now india lifted the title that is why you can see one indian over here one indian over here he is yash dhal and we have learned a lot about him we read a lot about him in the previous videos too so yash dhal was doing the captainship was doing the captaincy of you know under 19 world cup cricket world cup so yash dhal was the captain see anybody would be interested to know the name of the captain of any team whichever you know brought some title so under 19 world uh, cricket world cup was played in west indies won by india it was india's fifth title by defeating england so that can also be the question so england was defeated and total teams which were participating in that world cup they were 16 now most runs and player of the tournament see the same question is continuing here in this page also if you look at these faces they look very young so obviously under 19 you know was the you know tournament which was going on so most runs and player of the tournament most runs and player of the tournament he became the one his name is devil brevis devil brevis he is from south africa you can see his picture here so devil brevis from south africa most runs and player of the tournament title was given to him when we come below to the second uh, at the second point he is from sri lanka this guy and he obviously you know became the fellow who got most wickets so most wickets janath velalage janath velalage he is from sri lanka the nationality of these people that is also important If you talk about only and only as Jal, as the names you know seems or sounds familiar to you, you'll keep on learning that name. It is going to be difficult. Please learn their names also. Be it Devil Brevis or Danis Velalage, he is from Sri Lanka. Learn their nationality also. It was about under 19 Cricket World Cup. Now, the title is Government Schemes and Announcements. Now. students whenever they you know talk whenever i start talking about government schemes they start getting bored but believe me these questions are super important whatever government does that actually is bound to be there in your exam they are important for that reason you have to learn it so i'll start with it and if you are watching till now i am expecting that you have already pressed the like button so ministry of health and family welfare launches i my what is i am i i'll explain that but look at this beautiful picture that b y is get your uh, you know child fully immunized and all and you know some rainbow sort of thing is there so that is mission indradharush that is why this beautiful rainbow is there on the screen so ministry of health and family welfare is doing it they may ask you the name of the scheme which is associated with some ministry that is what i'm you know trying to tell you that i am i was launched by ministry of family and uh, health and family welfare that is what i've written here so i am i is first i is intensified m is mission and i is indradhanush that is why that indradhanush is there indradhanush is rainbow that is what i'm trying to say so intensified mission indradhanush 4.0 that means fourth edition of it why is it there that purpose is here get your child fully vaccinated or fully immunized that's what they are they have written that is why this picture is there even this picture has some purpose so be wise get your child fully immunized i am saying it has been launched in 416 districts if these many districts are getting benefited i don't know if they are i'm saying even if they are getting benefited you know these many districts are actually you know there then the question is 
pretty much significant because it was not launched for two, four, or ten districts. They have launched it for four, one, six districts. So, Ministry of Health and Family Welfare launched intensified Mission Indradhanush 4.0, fourth edition of it for four, one, six districts. India implements largest global immunization program covering 3 crore over 3 crore pregnant women and 2.6 crore children. So obviously it has to be largest who is going to you know get 3 crore pregnant women and which country has that 2.6 crore children. So all these you know got vaccinated that's what they are trying to say. So India implements largest global immunization program. Let's proceed further. <coughs> Rashtriya Yuva Sashakti Karan Karyakram Scheme extended for 2021-22 to 2025-26. to At times you don't find such things important. But I want to tell you and you don't even wish to use your you know time for it. If you don't wish to understand that then also whatever is written on the screen just learn it like that because the question will be asked surely. I am saying if a scheme is there. Rashtriya Yuva. Rashtriya, if you are not aware of Hindi, I'll try to trans translate it for you. They are referring to some scheme, some yojana. What sort of uh, scheme is there? It is about youth empowerment. They are empowering the youth. Rashtriya is obviously they are referring to the nation. So Rashtriya Yuva, Yuva means youth. How you can relate it with Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports? How will you relate it? Because this Y is youth, Yuva, and this Yuva is here. That's how you'll be saying that this scheme was launched by Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports. Now I'll repeat that. I'm saying Rashtriya Yuva Sashakti Karan Karyakram scheme launched or uh, extended for this particular period, extended by Ministry of Youth Affairs, I told you. And the expense they'll be bearing on it is 2,710 crores. The outlay is equally, equally significant. That is why I made a question on this basis. 2,710 is the expenditure for this particular scheme. Rashtriya Yuva Sashakti Karan Karikram scheme. And who's launching this Yuva Sashakti Karan? Ministry of Youth Affairs is doing that. Now, when I move to the second point, it is about Ministry of Heavy Industries. Ministry of Heavy Industries launches phase two, phase two of competitiveness in capital goods sector at an outlay of 1207 crores. I'll talk about it again slowly. Ministry of Heavy Industries is behind something. They are doing something. They are launching something. They are starting something. They are starting something. Phase two of something. What is that? Competitiveness in capital goods sector competitiveness in capital goods sector they are launching it and the expense the expenditure on it outlay on it is 1207 crore read that point carefully and learn it just like that <clears throat> now when i say government you may write, you may learn it mighty there's something you know here don't worry about that it is the name of the ministry i'll be talking about it further now i'm saying government plans to take electronics manufacturing and exports to dollar 300 billion by 2026 so everything will be done in future now they are you know saying something else that they are they are stating that will take electronics manufacturing and electronics exports too they will make the industry they will make that particular part of dollar 300 billion they will make it that huge that's what they are stating till 2026 the manufacturing of electronics the exports of electronics will be uh, of dollar 300 billion size but by 2026 now what is mighty or matey so i'll actually break it for you it is ministry of electronics and information technology it is written there in the picture also. Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. That is mighty. Now, when a scheme you know comes in, they generally ask the name of the ministries behind them. 
So you have to learn the name of the scheme also and the name of the ministries also. And at times they ask the outlay too. So the expenditure on it is also asked. So now I have say I was saying that dollar three hundred billion they are targeting at by two thousand twenty six they are saying will make it like that. Home delivery of medicines begins under sehat. If something of this sort is taking place, sehat is you know going to be there. You know uh, that is not for all of us. They will not be delivering medicines. They will not be delivering medicines to our places. Now this sehat is why they are not delivering it to our places uh, because it is. For armed forces, home delivery of medicines begins under Sehat. Sehat is a scheme by Ministry of Defence. As Ministry of Defence is engaged, now you can easily relate that this Sehat is for defence personnel only. So Ministry of Defence launches Sehat. This Sehat is for armed forces services. e health assistance and tel uh, tele consultation is the full form of sehat i'll repeat that services this is e health sehat services e health this is assistance and tele consultation that is actually the expanded form the full form of this sehat scheme launched by defense ministry of defense now let's move ahead <coughs> awards and prizes so a lot many recipients here icc is giving awards icc obviously you know provides awards to all the cricketers now icc cricket awards 2021 we are referring to as the year has actually gone by will be talking about the people who became the recipients of such mains awards now men's t20 cricketer there on the screen mohammad rizwan he is from pakistan he has actually become the recipient of men's t20 cricketer of the year award now women's cricketer are also there so women's t20 cricketer tammy beaumont from england tammy beaumont from england she has actually become the recipient of women's t20 you know cricketer award now when i proceed further icc spirit of cricket award read that ICC Spirit of Cricket Award Spirit of Cricket Award was given to Darrell Mitchell Darrell Mitchell he is from New Zealand Darrell Mitchell is from New Zealand so Darrell Mitchell Spirit of the Cricket Award T20 Women's Tammy Beaumont and Men's T20 Cricketer Mohammad Rizwan now uh, please learn their nationality too because i've written something in the brackets that is equally important as the main point now when i proceed <coughs> Look at it, men's ODI cricketer Babar Azam. You've heard the name of this fellow many times from me only. So Babar Azam, he is from Pakistan. We all know that a superb, you know, kind of player. Now you need to understand that men's ODI cricketer. See, when you talk about T20, all the parts are all the types are actually getting discussed here. That T20 people are also getting something. ODI people, one day international, as the word international is there. so they played well in one day international so such people are also getting something test people are also getting something so all will be you know benefited so men's odi cricketer babar azam icc awards i'm referring to is from pakistan women's odi cricketer lizelli she is from south africa you can see the picture here lizelli she is from south africa she was actually uh, given the title of women's one day international cricketer of the year men's test cricketer look at this fellow his name is jo root he is from england jo root he is from england now i told you t20 was discussed one day was discussed now we are i'm discussing test cricketer so my, my men's test cricketer jo root he is from england i told you his nationality is equally important when you speak all these names only two times believe me you are able to retain it well just pronounce their names again and again if you just do that if, see if you feel that you know i cannot watch the complete video again i'm telling you you should if you cannot prepare the notes read those notes once again so when i wrap it up you'll be able to retain you'll be able to learn everything in 5 or 10 minutes now 
look at the uh, Rachel Hayho Flynn Trophy for women's cricketer. You are aware of this name, and this Rachel Hayho uh, uh, Flynn Trophy is very very important. When you actually look at this lady uh, Smriti Mandana, she is obviously you know a very very good player. Now she has become the recipient. I have highlighted some part that women's cricketer. When you talk about a T Twenty, when you talk about ODI, when you talk about Test, when you talk about ball bowler, when you talk about batsman or something, just collectively look at you know from look at them as a collective you know person that they performed very very well in all sorts. Rachel Hayho Flint. <coughs> trophy for women's cricketer was given to Smriti Mandana. Similar, similar cases here. Sir Garfield Sober Trophy, obviously very famous one. Men's cricketer was Shaheen Afridi from Pakistan. So ICC is giving such. Uh, ICC is you know providing these awards now. I told you that Smriti Mandana, women's cricketer of the year. This fellow Shaheen Afridi from Pakistan. Men's cricketer of the year, so Garfield, you know, Sober Trophy is the famous one. ICC Men's ODI, One Day International, T Twenty, Team Captain Babar Azam Pak. I am sure that you know you will not be able to understand what I have written here. So I'll explain that. I was saying that their imagination. Uh, it's like you know they are thinking if they make a team of all the best players for One Day International. Or for T Twenty, ICC is saying that if they make a team for ODI or T Twenty of all the best players, so out of all the best players, you have to make one person as their captain. So he is going to be that fellow who is going to be their captain of that best team for ODI and T Twenty. The name of that fellow is Babar Azam. He is from Pakistan. You know he is very very good. He is very very good. So obviously this fellow is going to get such a title. So ICC Men's ODI T Twenty Team Captain. Babar Azam. Now, <clears throat> defence news. When well, I'll talk about them one by one, but look at this page and look at the picture. You'll be able to relate it very easily with C. INS Kukri, India's first indigenous missile corvette to be changed into a museum by DU administration. Daman and DU. That's what I'm referring to. I hope you are able to relate it. INS Kukri was in news a few days back because it was decommissioned. Now it will not be used. That's what they mean by using the word decommissioned. It will not remain in services now. It has been decommissioned. So INS Kukri first indigenous. That means India, uh, India itself made it. So I'm saying India's first indigenous missile corvette ship to be changed to a museum. Now you need to understand when it is not working, it is not functional. They are not using it for the purpose it was made. It is not in use now, so it is actually going to be kept just like that. So they are convert converting it into a museum. Who's doing that? DU administration is doing that. So learn these two names only. INS Kukri will be a museum now, and it will be made museum by DU administration now. A joint exercise, maritime exercise. What exercise? Maritime partnership exercise between India and Japan in Bay of Bengal, and the ships which they are using for that purpose on India's behalf. One is Shivalik, and the other one is Kadmat. I repeat that, an exercise between India and Japan. Right? It is obviously a maritime exercise. I've picked, uh, you know kept the pictures of sea here. So maritime means I'm talking about sea. So maritime exercise between India and Japan, and I said the ships which were used, INS Shivalik and Karmat. The venue of it was Bay of Bengal. So all those four important things I've taught you in one point. <clears throat> the questions are important. I really wish, I really wish that whatever I've taught you, you've learned that. This is going to be the last page for today. Let's look at that last page with the same zeal as I'm showing it to you. India's Scorpion Kalwari class submarines, fifth INS Wagir and sixth INS Wagshir, made by Mazagao Dock Shipbuilders. You know, you need to know something when we talk about such sort of things like Wagir and Wagshir. They are huge. They are huge for our you know navy. So when such things you know come into picture, 
please believe me you need to know who you know made it who made it that is why i've actually added these two questions newly in my video they are important please learn them carefully what is submarine submarine is an undersea vehicle submarine is an undersea vehicle in hindi we can call it pandubi also so submarine is an undersea vehicle i'm saying india's scorpion kalwari class why we named it why we named this scorpion as uh, scorpion class as kalwari class out of these six the first one was kalwari ins kalwari so by uh, just to relate it with the first name we started it with the first name they have actually given it as kalwari class because this was the first one kalwari class or scorpion submarine scorpion class submarines it is one and the same thing i am saying india's first scorpion class or kalwari class submarines it was the first one that is why it was named after it fifth is ins wagir and sixth is ins wagshir they were made by mazgaon dock ship builders the name of the uh, you know makers that they are important when i proceed further conquers m <coughs> anti tank missiles if you wish to relate it can you relate it with the word conquer originally can you relate it with the original word where we win conquer win so we are actually trying to show that so that is why conquers m anti tank missiles to be supplied to army by bharat dynamics i told you the makers can also be asked nowadays they ask such questions if some change you know takes place in the exam i try to add such question according to your feedback so bharat dynamics made something that is conquers m anti anti tank missile and it will be supplied to army by bharat dynamics and i proceed further hals hindustan aeronautics limited hindustan aeronautics limited so hindustan aeronautics limited to exposed export advanced light helicopters advanced light helicopter advanced light helicopter mk3 to mauritius so hal hal hindustan aeronautics limited is exporting is actually making something for mauritius and what they are doing is that they are making advanced light helicopter mk3 and uh, the, that is they, they are doing it for mauritius so here i'll be wrapping up if you have understood everything you can press the like button if you have not you can rewatch the video and you can switch to the hindi session also thank you so much for watching